Welcome to the OK Grants online grant management system training video series. This series is specific to grants and applications administered by the Oklahoma Department of Commerce and should not be referred to for applications of other agencies or entities. The OK Grants online grant management system can be accessed through any current web browser. If you can watch this video, you can work within OK Grants. To begin, navigate to the OK Grants login screen. Go to grants.ok.gov. It may be helpful to bookmark this site. To access OK Grants, you need a username and password. This information will have been provided by your agency administrator or an automated email from admin at okosf.ok.gov. Use this screen to log in and reach the home screen. If you forget your password or username, use the links on the login screen to recover them. This video is a walkthrough of the contract extension request process for the Oklahoma Department of Commerce Grants and the OK Grants online grant management system. For this walkthrough, we will be using the Community Development Block Grant application, as this process is fairly similar for most Department of Commerce programs. Authorized officials can complete all necessary steps. Writers and financial officers have the ability to initiate their request, complete forms, and upload attachments but will not be able to submit the request or sign their revised contract on behalf of the organization. You can confirm your role on this screen in the welcome box. Contract modifications can be initiated only when the grant is in an executed status. If your grant is in another status, it will first need to be returned to executed status. Your executed grants can be found in your task box by clicking the Open Tasks button. There may be several documents here, so identify the grant you wish to extend and click the grant's document name. This will bring you to the ODOC application menu. To initiate the contract modification request, click the View Status Options button in the Change Status section. This should bring up some status options. Since a contract needs to be modified, click the button titled Initiate Contract Modification Request. This will return you to the ODOC application menu and change the status of the grant to Modification in Request, opening up a new section of forms. To work within these forms, click the View Forms button. Near the bottom of the list, there should be a Contract Modification section with a contract modification request form. Click the request form to prepare the request. If this project has never been modified before, the page will be blank and ready to complete. In this case, the contract has already been modified previously, so the form will retain the information from the previous changes. In order to create a new request, click the Add button near the top of the screen. This will generate a new contract modification form. First, select the radio buttons to indicate whether you wish to revise the contract end date, the budget, or both. Then, in the text box, briefly but accurately describe the reason the contract must be revised. For a contract extension, clearly detail the intended new end date. The ODOC approval and contract specialist radio buttons are for the Department of Commerce use and should not be selected here. Once complete, click the Save button. Some programs require supporting documentation to be uploaded during the process. If this is true for your project, click the Uploads Modification link near the bottom of the page. Uploading supporting documentation can be done with the Choose File button, which allows you to browse your computer for the required documents. Selecting a file will attach it to the form. Name your attachments appropriately and continue attaching all required documentation. If you require more lines, simply save the page and further lines will be provided as appropriate. Once a page is completed and successfully saved, the modification request is ready to submit to the Department of Commerce. Find the grant name at the top of the form next to Document Information and click the link to return to the ODOC application menu. To submit, click the View Status Options button to arrive at the Status Options screen. Here you will have the option to submit the modification request. Clicking the Submit button will return you to the ODOC application menu, where you can now see that the request has already been successfully submitted. Depending on the results of the ODOC review, further instructions may be provided by email from the OK Grants or the Department of Commerce. If you encounter issues or have further questions about the process or your contract, contact your Department of Commerce liaison for assistance. For walkthroughs of OK Grants tasks and processes, troubleshooting assistance, FAQs, and other resources, please visit the OK Grants resource page at okcommerce.gov slash okgrants. Good luck with your projects, and thanks for watching.